Cheers, everyone. How are you? It is Thursday, the 8th of December. Making sure. Yes, it is. Top of the whatever to you. It's morning here. And right away, I wanted to say hello and thinking of you, my sister Stephanie, after our conversation yesterday. You were on my mind. And um, as you know, things are going to work out. You know, the next opportunity or the next bridge that needs to be crossed will appear. Things are going to be good. Things are going to be fine. People, I'm not surprised at the response to me talking to Richard Barbieri. I've gotten a flood of messages and emails congratulating me. Thank you, folks. I'm not going to respond, though, okay? Please don't take it personally. It's, it's like, um, thank you. It is um, a privilege and a treat to talk to someone of, of Richard's caliber um, regarding his talent, but also his status in the real world, you know, of music and, and music business. Um, I'm tickled to hell, you know, that he um, is a friend. He's a freaking friend of mine, long distance friend. So thank you. And if you haven't watched the interview or any of the other interviews, I've made a playlist. I made it a few months ago. I have a playlist on my channel of the interviews that I've done over the years. There's some pretty good ones. Thank you. Um, I, I didn't mention it the other day, but um, also I'm really happy about the change in response to my Bandcamp page. Um, I've received more sales and um, just because it's happening now, I'm, watch I'm looking at the stats, like looking at a chart. How am I doing in the Nebraska chart? Well, what's wonderful is I haven't gone down. I haven't gone up, but I haven't gone down. I'm still number two in Nebraska. This is it's fantastic. It feels great. David Nance is almost always number one in sales in Nebraska. Uh, he, um, I know what he does to make that happen, and he's um, good on him. You know, another one of the top sellers all the time, which is interesting, but it makes sense also. Bright Eyes, Connor Oberst, is almost always in the top 10 or 15 sales of Nebraska. I just want to say thank you. If you haven't listened to me yet or haven't bought any music yet, it's time. Um, you know, I can quote endorsement, personal endorsement from Richard Barbieri from Porcupine Tree. But also other folks of note who own my music are Todd Rundgren, Philip Glass, Lori Anderson. There's more from there. Yeah, I love telling you stuff like this. <laughs> it's great. Cheers. So, I'll do a video where I do my top albums of the year. I haven't done that in, in, in ages. This year it's kind of come into play. It's, you know, it's come into focus. You know, some albums, some music has been real strong for me this year. And so I'll do that, maybe the next one. There is no question that this compilation that I'm on, Jazz from the 23rd Century, will be on it. I just listened to it again yesterday. This is mighty, mighty good. And I want to particularly shout out Brian Woodbury's Variety Orchestra, Mentally Ill. Fantastic track. Another one that really, really resonates with me is the Forest Fang, Joseph Benzola track, Wrong Exit. And also the Jerry and Michelle King track that I play on, which, just, which they dedicated to me, Avalon. Those are some real, right now, standouts to me. Everything is amazing on here. Tom DeGill's the Blackbird Boss, Bossa. This is fantastic, and um, I'll try to remember to leave a link to get this. Regarding the Jeffrey Scott Greer, I see uh, we have, I got some folks 
like this, but I don't see a contact. But I bet if you look up Jeffrey Scott Greer, you can find him on Bandcamp, and that'll lead you to this. So there you go. There you go. Whew. Okay. So Martin Archer, if you happen to see this, I had a lovely experience yesterday listening to this. Martin Pine and David Beebe, Ripples. This is gorgeous. It's... Uh, I love it. These graphics are perfect. And Ripples is a perfect title. You know, the first track on this one, the way it starts off, it starts off reminiscent of the opening track to Tear Your Rip Dolls first ECM album, which is very mystical and mysterious sounding. And that's how this first track sound starts and and just builds from there. This is beautiful stuff. Fender, Rhodes Piano, and Vibraphone. Very imaginative and um, wistful. It's just kind of like fantasy. That's not the right word. It's, 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 it just creates an atmosphere of um, almost wonder. Um, it's not so much relaxing as it's fanciful. This is really good. As I said a few videos back, the light, the latest discus releases that I've received have been really, really good. And this one I want to highly recommend. Ripples by Martin Pine and David Beebe. That's some good stuff. I play music while I work on stuff. And so yesterday, Eberhard Weber was my soundtrack for a while. Orchestra. Interesting that he calls this orchestra, and yet quite a bit of this is solo bass, and it's beautiful. Eberhard Weber, who goes all the way back to the 60s playing rock and jazz, has an immediately recognizable bass sound as well as vocabulary. Wonderful. ECM is a great label. They have too many releases for me to try to collect them all, but whenever I can get them at a decent price, I do. Simon and Bard, Fred Simon, Musaic, featuring Larry Coriel. So this is almost just kind of um, Wyndham Hill-ish, coffee table-ish type of music, except Fred Simon, who I quite like, has a good ear and writes some cool cool chord changes and this is nice overall I like this really well I really like Fred Simon my man Sakamoto I saw where he um, posted an update on his site about the upcoming piano concert it was good to see him sorry to see that him ailing I'm glad he's still alive though It's a shame that he's um, in failing health. I'd love to talk to him, but that would not be fun for him. But yesterday, I listened to this all the way through. Coda, solo piano of the Merry Christmas Mr. Lawrence um, soundtrack for the most part. Sakamoto is just um, peerless to me. He is truly in a class of his own, composition-wise, Playing the piano wise, um, explore, being an, an explorer of music and sound. He's one of my top favorites of all time. Like Richard Barbieri. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, um, you know, absorbing that. You know, that's been a long time coming. And watch the interview it's it was a wonderful exchange you know happy the man another band that's um dave newhouse i guess you know these people eh this is part of the story of american progressive rock uh, this is um their third album better late they're from the same general area east coast as uh, the muppins um this is really, really good music, and um, 
very very creative and um, taking ep taking elements of jazz classical folk pop beautiful playing Kit Watkins as you know who his solo stuff is really good too and was in Camel this is where he started fantastic music people it really is and speaking of fantastic music I'll go till I'm done here just a few more things here I played this we talked about it with um you know I talked about it with Richard Jansen Barbieri Karn Breakable Moons so in listening to this it's on the in fact label yes I'm on that label hell yes that's the coolest it is um, I can see what he meant by that these were outtakes the b-side is literally named outtake one and two but the track breakable moon I guess the other stuff that they were doing for JBK was so good this got left out but it's really good it is it's numbered I have number six number six out of 250 and I see that Masami Tuchi is on here too that was really cool the information I got from Richard yeah very important music very important very important Orange Milk is a label that I recently got turned on to Seth Graham apparently runs the label this is one of his albums um, Gasp played this um, a few weekends ago when I had all the company this is one of the things that we listened to really caught people's attention this is really quite interesting work it's a blend of live instrumentation sampling classical instruments and you don't know what you don't know what's what at times it's fascinating I think the uh, graphics are perfect for it it's like it's uh, it's a new sound it's really quite good very very good so I think that's what I where I'll leave it at today always good to hear from you folks Stephanie have have a great day and of course I'll talk to you on Saturday and folks I enjoy hearing from you take care